good morning everyone my name is ravi kande i am from nagar kanal ttw rdc man today i am going to discuss differential equations and its applications modeling with differential equations one of the most important applications of calculation is differential equations which often arises in describing some phenomenon in engineering physical sciences etc concept of differential equation in general a differential equation is an equation that contains an unknown functions and its derivatives the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative that occurs in the equation suppose you can take one function y is equal to f of x is called a solution of differential equation if the equation is satisfied when y is equal to f of x and its derivatives are substituted in the equation or differential equations are two types one is ordinary differential equation and second one is partial differential equation ordinary differential equation contains derivatives and involving one dependent variable one independent variable and partial differential equations involving derivatives and one dependent variable two or more independent variables then it is called partial differential let us discuss ordinary differential equations a differential equation is an equation containing an unknown function and its derivatives for example dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 3 in the lhs the differential equation the, the equation involving derivative therefore that is uh, that is involving one dependent y is a dependent and x is a independent variable therefore one dependent one independent this is ordinary differential equation again second example d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx plus ay is equal to 0 here y x y x so total number of variables two variable one is dependent and second one is x is a independent and third example d cube y by d cube y by dx cube plus d y by dx all power 4 plus 6y is equal to 3. Again, this is also differential equation because the equation involving derivatives. Next, dependent variables are y and x, y and x. Therefore, single dependent, single independent, then it is called ordinary differential equation. y is a dependent variable and x is an independent variable and these are ordinary differential equation. Next, partial differential equation do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square equal to 0 the equation involving derivatives and one dependent variable u is the dependent variable x and y are the independent variables so one dependent to two independent variable then the equation name is called partial differential equation suitable examples do power 4 u by do x power 4 plus do power 4 u by do t square equal to 0 here u is a dependent variable and x and t are the independent variable and next example do square u by do x square equal to do square u by dot x square minus do u by dot t again the equation involving u is the dependent variable x and t are the independent variables therefore if any any equa any differential equation involving one dependent variable two or more independent variable then it is called partial differential equation next order of differential equation the order of differential equation is the highest order of the highest derivative in the differential equation. For example, here, example 3, example differential equation. These examples, ordinary differential equations. dy by dx is equal to x plus 3. d, d power 1. Therefore, order is 1. d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx. Therefore, our aim is to find higher order of the highest derivative. Here, derivative first first term and second term, two derivatives. First term involving highest derivative, that is order is 2. In the third equation, d cube y by dx cube plus dy by dx whole power 4. By observing these, these expression, first and second terms, first term involving order is 3, first second term involving order is 1. So, highest order is first term, therefore order is 3. Next, degree of differential equation. Already we know that how to find order of differential equation. The highest to order of the derivative, its power is called degree. The degree of a differential equation, the power of highest to order the derivative term in the differential equation. Again, again three examples. These three examples are ordinary differential equations. Uh, d, d, uh, d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx plus a y equal to 0. First term and second term involving derivatives. Therefore, first term is the highest order, that is 2. Its power is 1, therefore degree is 1. 
same pro same example problem to find order also order is 2 and its degree is 1 second example do, uh, d cube y by dx cube plus d y by dx whole power 4 plus 6 y equals 0 again first and second term involving derivatives the highest order is first term that is d cube therefore degree is 3 order is 3 its power is its power is 1 therefore degree is 1 therefore what is the order its order is 3 don't write order is 1 degree is 4 because highest order our aim is to find highest order next last last example d square y by dx square whole power 3 plus dy by dx whole power 5 plus 3 equal to 0 again first term by observing first and second terms the highest order is first term d square order is 2 its power is 3 therefore degree is 3 next linear differential equation linear differential equation must satisfy following two conditions what is the first condition the de dependent variable and its derivatives are of degree is 1 for example here d square y by dx square dy by dx therefore our degree is equal order is different but degree is equal next to second condition coefficient of your term does not depends upon dependent variable this is very very important line coefficient of your term does not depend upon dependent variable d square y by dx square plus 3, 3 dy by dx plus 9 y equal to this is linear differential equation and order is 2 but degree is equal our first condition is true and so what is the second condition coefficient of your term does not depends upon dependent variable three is a constant there is no dependent variable right next d square y by dx square dy by dx whole power 4 plus 3 the first condition is not satisfied what is the first condition dependent variable and its derivatives of degree 1 here d cube y by dx cube whole power is 1 dy by dx whole power 4 degrees are different therefore this is not linear not linear means non-linear because its second degree is not degree 1 next one more example x square d square by dx square plus y d by dx is equal to x cube suppose x square plus d square y by dx square plus x d by dx therefore dependent variable is y but here the coefficient not dependent variable but coefficient variable is y that is dependent variable so automatically this is not linear and second term particularly the second term involving the coefficient is depends on y next last example dy by dx is equal to sin y very very important and dy by dx order one degree one but right side the function sin y this is a this is by using maclaurian series sin y expansion is y minus y cube by 3 factorial plus y power 5 by 5 factorial minus y power 7 by 1 factorial and so on automatically the function is a non-linear differential equation next first order linear differential equation sorry first order differential equation derivative form a1x dy by dx order degree one order one degree one a naught of x y is equal to another form differential form 1 plus x dy minus y dx is equal to 0 and general form is dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y one dependent variable one independent variable f of x comma y dy by dx is equal to 0 therefore we can choose any any one first one or second one these are called general forms next first order different first order ordinary differential equation f of x comma y dy by dx is equal to 0 or dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y this is derivative form m of x comma by dx plus n of x comma dy this is differential form a1x dy by dx plus a naught of x y is equal to g of x this is standard form this is standard form and dy by dx plus p of x equal to y generally in the ug level we can solve or we can use uh, by the definition of linear differential equation simply we can say dy by dx plus p of x y is equal to q of x this is the first order linear differential equation form solution of suppose same problem is given in the examination the solution of a linear differential equation first to define integrating factor integrating factor if is equal to e to the power of integral p dx p of x into dx after finding integrating factor the general solution form is what is the dependent variable y is the dependent the solution also y solution y into integrating factor is equal to integral q of x into integrating factor dx plus c that to find right side integration integral function indefinite integration that's why i am using constant second order ordinary differential equation f of x comma y dy by dx or d square by dx square 0 this is general form of four. second order ordinary differential equation d square by dx square is equal to f of x comma y dy by dx now 
another notation a2 of x d square by dx square plus a1 of x dy by dx plus a0 of x into y is equal to g of x and this sometimes we can write as d square by dx square replaced by y double dash dy by dx replaced by y dash and y is y fixed a2 of x y double dash plus a1 of x y dash plus a0 of x into y is equal to g of x this is second order or second order ordinary differential equation next same nth order linear differential equation a n a d power n y by dx power n a n minus 1 d power n minus y by dx power and so on is equal to g of x this is the nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient including variable coefficients small changes a n of x so here a n a n minus 1 a 2 and so on n a n replaced by n of x so a n minus 1 replaced by n minus 1 of x that is variable coefficients constant coefficients are using variable coefficients next next to discuss, next to topic is solution of differential equation physical origin therefore this is one of the application newton's law of cooling newton's law of cooling the rate of change of temperature of body is proportional to the difference of the temperature of the body and surrounding medium surrounding medium means usually we can take a room temperature or air temperature therefore that is a formula here dt by dt is equal to k times of t minus ts where dt by dt is the rate of cooling of the li given liquid t minus ts is the temperature of the difference between the liquid t and its surrounding ts surrounding means air temperature or room temperature uh, generally we can use room temperature ts is equal to 30 degrees growth and decay dy by dt is equal to ks growth suppose we can use growth formula dy by dt is equal to positive k into y suppose decay dy by dt is equal to minus k into y where y is the quantity present at any time solution of separable separable equation separable equation is the given differential equation y variables are one side and x variables are another side we can after separate the variables we can integrate them both equations lhs and rhs after finding indefinite integrals so we get relationship between x and y in which this general they are generally has an arbitrary constant because the integrations are indefinite integration because integrations are two types definite integration indefinite integration indefinite integration must to be used one constant definite integration or lower bound and upper bound is given we get exactly solution but indefinite integration there is no bounds automatically we can use either left side or right side adding some quantity generally using constant the quantity replaced by c next solve the example solve the one problem solve the differential equation y dash is equal to 1 plus y square x square now y dash we can write as dy by dx is equal to 1 plus y square x square separate the variable dy by 1 plus y square equal to dx x square into dx separate the variable and after taking integration this is indefinite integration we can add one constant therefore 1 by 1 plus y square integral of 1 by 1 plus y square equal to tan of y integral of x square equal to x cube by 3 therefore the general solution of y is equal to tan of 1 by 3 or otherwise tan of y is equal to 1 by 3 of x square plus y here y dash dy by dx y is a dependent variable therefore solution is y solution one more example solve the differential equation y dash is equal to 6x square 2y plus cos y again y dash is equal to we can write as dy by dx separate the variable 2y plus cos y into dy is equal to 6x square dx and after separate the variables to take integration on both sides integration of y square plus sin y is equal to x cube plus c here integration of y square equal to y cube by sorry integration of 2y is equal to y square two to can get it cancel cos y is equal to sin y and right side 6x square 6x square integration x cube by 3 therefore 3 1 ya 3 2 ya 2x cube plus constant which is the general solution of in general solution in implicit function same problem this is not it is impossible to solve y in terms of y in terms of x implicitly explicitly sorry explicitly first order first order differential equation first order differential equation solved by following cases first one exact equations second one variable separable method and then homogeneous equation next equation solved by integrating factor solved by integrating factor uh, that is bernoulli's method linear differential equation non non linear equation and x and substitution method
first one exact equation the equation of the form m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy equal to 0 generally do n by do x into dx plus do n by do y into dy is equal to df do n by do y is equal to do n by do x therefore then the equation is exact its general solution is equal to integral m dx where y is uh, where y is con constant integral n dy is equal to for c integral n where do not contain x terms that means leaving the x terms homogeneous equation homogeneous equation a differential equation of the form dy by dx equal to f of y by x here y degree 1 y and x degree also 1 suppose another form is f of kx comma ky is equal to k power n into f of x comma y therefore the equality condition satisfied the, uh, that is called homogeneous equation sometimes we can take y by x is equal to we can take u dy by dx is equal to f of u to verify the condition first order summary of the first order differential equation first order linear differential equation occasionally arise in chemical engineering problems in the field of heat transfer moment to transfer and mass transfer in the previous example exact differential equation x cube minus y sin x plus cos x plus 2y dy by dx therefore cross multiply the dx therefore x cube minus y sin x into dx plus cos x plus 2y into dy is equal to zero. so finally equation of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0 m is equal to x cube minus y sin x and n is equal to cos x plus 2y therefore do, to verify do m by do y value and do n by do n by do x value suppose do m by do y value and do n by do x value both the values are equal Therefore, that is the exact differential equation. Suppose we can verify this equation. X cube derivative to do m. This is m with respect to y. X cube is constant 0. Therefore, with respect to y, therefore, minus sin x. Minus sin x. Next, to, with respect to, uh, this is n. With respect to x, partial derivative to cos x derivative to minus sin x. And with respect to x, 2y is constant. Its value is 0. Therefore, minus sin x minus sin x. Do m by do y value, do n by do x value. Both the values are e both the values are equal. Therefore, that is exact differential equation. After verify the exact condition to find the general solution. Again, general solution for integral m dy plus integral n dx. Integral n dx is equal to constant. Integral m dy. Here, why we can take integral m dy sorry integral m dx plus integral n dy equal to 0 why in the first term y as constant in the second uh, leaving the x term or do not containing the x term after that we get solution Thank you.